Hello, welcome to Homework Help. The Algonquin Area's Public Library Volunteen Run Homework Help video series. I'm Volunteen Lauren, and today I will be helping you solve for x in different algebraic equations. So, we are going to start up here, because it's a pretty basic equation. So, the whole point of these is to get this x alone. And in order to do that, the first thing we have to do is get rid of this, because it is not part of the x value. In this situation, you would start here. So, there is a negative sign or a subtraction sign. And what you have to do is you have to get rid of this 3. And in order to do that, you have to do the opposite of what this sign says. So that means you have to add it. And in order to get rid of this, you have to add 3 here and you have to add 3 here. Because if you do it to one side, you have to do it to the other side. So that means you have 6x equals 18 here. At the end of this equation, at the end of all of these equations that I'm going to show you today, you have to divide this x value on both sides to get that x alone. So you divide 6 here, and you would divide 6 here to get your x alone. And so the x value and the x alone equals 3 here. And that is a very simple, basic equation. Sorry if I didn't explain that a little fast. Um, we're going to move down here. So now, we have two x values here and two non-x values. And so, again, we're going to start off with these non-x values. And these are like terms because they both don't have the x, and these are like terms because they do have the x, which means they can only work with each other. So, to make this easier for yourself, I'm going to do with this negative 1 right here. And as done in the previous equation, it's a negative, so that means you have to add it to both sides. So you add one here and you add one here. So you have 9x equals 6 plus 7x. Well, now we have these two x values here. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to have to get rid of 1, and that would be this 7x because this one is all alone. This time it's a positive, and the opposite of addition is subtraction, meaning you'd have to subtract this 7x here, and you'd have to subtract the 7x here, meaning you'd have 6, a positive 6 equals a 2x. So we're at the end of the equation, which means we divide again. So we divide 2 here, and we divide 2 here to get that x alone. And that means x is going to equal 3 here as well. So those are the two basic ones, pretty simple. So now we work over here. And this time we have a new like element thrown in, and that would be these parentheses. Now, before we do anything, we have to get rid of those parentheses. So something called the distributive factor or property is gonna come in. So the distributive property means you're gonna take this three and distribute it inside the parentheses, meaning you have to multiply this 3 by this x and this 3 by this negative 2, meaning you have 3x now, minus 6, and then you have the rest of the problem over here, which is 6x plus 9. So now this problem is like that problem, and we have 2x values and 2 non-x values. So we're going to work with the non-x values again. So we're going to add this 6 on both sides, because I think this is the easier way to go, and always do what is easier for you. So I'm going to add this 6 because it's a negative, and we have to do the opposite of subtraction, which would be addition. Meaning we now have 3x equals 6x plus 15. So now we have to get rid of this 6x value because this value is all alone now, and that is what you need to do. So this is a positive 6. So that means you have to subtract this 6x you also have to subtract it here. So now you have a negative 3x equals 15. Again, we're at the end of the problem, and now we need to divide. So we divide both sides by negative 3. And that would mean your x is a negative 5, because negative 5 times negative 3 is a positive 15, because two negatives make a positive. So now we're going on to our last problem, which is very similar to the one above. So Again, the distributive property, we distribute the 5x, 5 into this x here, and we distribute this 5 into this negative 10. So that means you have 5x minus 
50 equals 15x. So now we have to get rid of this 5x because this one is all alone and that's just going to make it easier for us. So this is a positive. We need to subtract it on both sides, leaving this negative 50 and this 10x. So again, <laughs> we're at the end of the problem and we need to get this x on its own. The only way you can do that is divide it by 10. So your x alone now equals a negative 5 because a negative 5 times a positive 10 is going to get you that negative 50 you need. I hope I explained this the best that I could. I hope I didn't go too fast, and if I did, I'm sorry. But thank you for joining us at Homework Help today. If you have more video suggestions or you are a teen yourself and you need service hours of sorts, you can email Lindsay at teen at aapld.org. Thank you for joining me and have a good day.